Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is JC. In this channel, I share what I've learned in business, software programming, and direct response marketing. Yesterday, I shared a story about Rockefeller's success. So today, I will continue to share another story about Rockefeller's uh, meteoric uh, ascent or success. So let's get right into it. Practice relentless persistence. Do not many of us who fail to achieve big things fail because we lack concentration. The art of concentrating the mind on the thing to be done at the proper time and to the exclusion of everything else. John D. Rockefeller. There was little in Rockefeller's upbringing that would portend his meteoric rise. He was born in a clapboard house in New York in 1839. His mother was a solid religious woman, but his father, William Avery Rockefeller, was essentially a snake oil salesman who was gone from home for weeks and sometimes months at a time, selling his botanical cures and living as a secret bigamist with another family. The Rockefellers had enough money to get by on, but their finances were perennially uncertain dependent on when Devil Bill would show up and how much money he would bring upon his return. Yang Zhang grew up helping work the family Yang Zhang grew up helping work the family farm and tending to his younger siblings. But he had his eyes set on greater things and earnest, earnestly desired to rise in the world. How he would do so was not immediately clear. In school, he was considered dim-witted and slow at his studies, and made little impression on his classmates, who, after his ascent to fame, struggled to remember much about him. As one recalled, I have no recollection of John excelling at anything. There was nothing about him to make anybody pay especial attention to him or speculate about his future. Yet the same former classmate did make this addendum. I do remember he worked hard at everything, not talking much and studying with great industry. Here we find what would be one of the secrets to Rockefeller's success. In his own words, while he wasn't brilliant, he was reliable. He went about his homework, a schoolwork with patient persistence. I was not an easy student, he said and I had to apply myself diligently to prepare my lessons. Rockefeller did find he had a knack for numbers, and he dropped out of high school to become better acquainted with their management. Enrolling in a three-month business course at a commercial college, he learned the basics of bookkeeping, penmanship, and banking, and then graduated at age 16 ready to move up in the world. Eager to escape the orbit of his disreputable father and become an autonomous and self-reliant young man, Rockefeller left his rural home in Ohio, where his family had moved, to start his own life in Cleveland and find his very first job. Rockefeller attacked this goal with the same patient persistence he had applied to his schoolwork. Wanting to find a position with a large and reputable establishment in which he had, he had had the greatest opportunities for learning and advancement, he made a list of merchants, banks, railroads with the highest credit ratings. Each day, Rockefeller put on a dark suit, shaved, shined his shoes, and hit the pave pavement, making inquiries about Tom. At each firm, Chanel writes, he asked to speak to the top man, who was usually unavailable, then got straight to the point with an assistant. I understand bookkeeping and that I like to get work. As Rockefeller remembered, the job market was tight and the response was not encouraging. No one wanted a boy and very few showed any overwhelming anxiety to talk with me on the subject. Yet, young John D. Rockefeller was not at all discouraged. A return to his home and to dependence was unthinkable. When he had gone through his whole list without an offer, he simply started at the top again and visited every establishment again, sometimes dropping into the same business three times. 
He treated his job search just like his job. I was working every day at my business, the business of looking for work. I put in my full time at this every day. Thus, from morning until later afternoon, six days a week, for six weeks, sweating through Cleveland's hot summer, walking in the streets till his feet ached, Rockefeller continued to seek a position. Finally, on September twenty-sixth, eighteen fifty-five, he heard the words he'd been waiting for. We'll give you a chance. The small produce firm of Hewitt and Tuttle was in urgent need of an assistant bookkeeper, and told Rockefeller to take off his coat and get to work right away. Ever after, Rockefeller referred to this day as Job Day and celebrated its anniversary with more gusto than his own birthday, for this was the great turning point in his life. Through singular focus on A goal and patient persistence in its attainment, he had obtained a toehold in the world of business, and would use it as a springboard in making his improbable climb from lowly bookkeeper to corporate titan. This is a very aspiring. This is a very impressive paragraph, uh, story, and very inspiring.、Uh, especially uh, this uh, this story mentioned. John D. Rockefeller's persistence, and also、uh, his、uh, determination for self-reliance. I think this is something we all should learn from.、Uh, a lot of、uh, people doing sales, they just lack persistence, and they are afraid of、uh, following up with customers. In fact,、uh, there is no shame or no fear of following up with customers. The, the worst case is that you you'll be rejected by the customers, but the But the better outcome would be you will get a new customer. So why not always follow up and always、uh, be persistent and uh, uh, take no for an answer until you get to a yes. And so uh, it, it's uh, sometimes it just takes a lot of、uh, energy and guts to do things rather than、uh, contemplating on different strategies or uh, uh, contemplating on the best approach. There is no best approach in a. In the in the when when it comes to the bare metal of business, it's just a raw execution. It's just a determination and the desire to succeed. So this is what I've learned from this、uh, story. And、uh, as the、uh, the title mentioned, practice relentless persistence. And uh, uh, business is not like scientific research. It's it doesn't require like you have a genius mind, a、uh, genius brain. As long as you are persistent and you you have good habit and、uh, you just、uh, pound the paveway paveway to uh, success, uh, it, it, you should get there in、uh, sooner or later. So、uh, this is very encouraging for all of us wanting to have a successful business. All right, so that's it for today, and、uh, I'll share. Let's study more about John D. Rockefeller.、Uh, we'll do that、uh, in the next video.